All right, guys. So we have the actual update available for download right now in the game. So you can go over to the App Store and download the update. And the new icon is actually Mrs. Cow herself. So she's just everywhere. She's even one of the new silhouettes that shows up in the intro. So they are really, really pushing Ash all over the place, which is pretty funny. Alright, but before we cover the trailer for the skills and all of that stuff for the new Awakening banner, we actually do have the refines for the units that we're getting them. So we're going to go ahead and cover the refines right now. And then later on, I will cover the trailer as soon as it drops, which should actually be in 16 minutes as of me recording this video. So let's just get right into it. Alright, we're going to start things off with Nyla. And forgive me for the poor quality of this description here. This is just the best image I could find at the moment. So Nyla's weapon accelerates special trigger. So we get cooldown count minus one. At the start of combat, if foe's HP is above or equal to 75%. Or unit is within three spaces of an ally. Grants attack and speed up five to unit during combat. And also if both conditions are met. Inflicts attack and defense minus five on the foe during combat. All right, already that's way better than what it did. She had like a form type of skill where she gained, I think it was attack and speed up two based on how many allies were within two spaces of her. So this is just way better already. Also at the start of the turn, if unit is adjacent to only beast or dragon allies, or if unit is not adjacent to any ally, unit transforms, otherwise unit reverts. If unit transforms, grants attack up two. Deals plus 7 damage when special triggers. And neutralizes effects that grant special cooldown charge plus X to foe. Or inflicts special cooldown charge minus X on unit. Very interesting. Okay, so this is a brand new take on the beast transformation for infantry types. Where now she's also getting a sort of creator sword effect. Where she nullifies guard and also nullifies any special ramping that the foes may have. Which is very good. And finally, she enables Kanto Rem plus one while transformed. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is above or equal to 25%, grants all stats up four during combat. And also when unit deals damage, even if no damage is dealt to foe during combat, recovers seven HP to unit. Okay, so this is a very substantial improvement for her. She's doing so many things here. So she has a creator sword effect. She has plus seven true damage on special attacks. She's got minus one special trigger. She gains attack and speed up five, inflicts attack and defense minus five. She has Kanto Rem plus one, which is actually really powerful on her because she has glare. And then on top of that, she's getting all stats up four just because. <laughs> so if this is what we have to look forward to when it comes to beast refines I think things are going to be going pretty well for them Like this already I did not expect them to add another effect that she gains when she transforms So the creator sword effect that we see here was just tacked on to the infantry beast transformation Which was seven true damage and attack up two That makes me really curious to see what the other beast archetypes are going to get like the armored beast like Kanegus, he gets distant counter when he transforms. So what else are they going to give him? Like maybe far save or near save or something like that? That would be nuts. And then also we have Nesala and Tabarn who gain plus one movement when they transform. Like what, what are they going to get? <laughs> it's just, it's really nuts thinking about like how much they can improve the beast units from their transformation effects. So, really awesome stuff from Nyla, and I'm glad that she got the Kanto Rem to actually be able to make good use of Glare now. Alright, so next up we're going to move on to the free-to-play options in Walmart and Libra. So, Inviable Axe. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, inflicts attack, speed, and defense minus four on the foe during combat, and unit deals plus seven damage. Wow, there's just no condition on that <laughs> Jeez, man. Just free 7 damage because... Okay, sure. The, it's not when he triggers a special. It's not when he meets a stat check. It's just 7 free damage just right there. Okay. Also, at the start of combat, if unit's HP is above or equal to 25%, it 
inflicts another attack speed and defense minus four on the foe during combat and recovers seven HP to unit and allies within two spaces after combat. Okay, this is, a, this is honestly a pretty solid refine for a free-to-play unit. So he's doing attack, speed, and defense minus 8. He's doing 7 free damage with each, each attack that he does. And then he's getting back 7 HP to himself and allies as well. After combat, that's pretty powerful. That's the Guinevere heal effect, if I'm not mistaken. Where she recovers 7 HP to herself and allies in two spaces. So, pretty solid refine for a very easy merge project for a lot of people. Not bad. Alright, next up we got Walmart over here. So, Wolfberg grants defense up 3. At the start of combat, if unit is within 4 spaces of a foe, grants attack speed, defense, and res up 6 for 1 turn. And if unit initiates combat or unit is not adjacent to an ally, grants all stats up 4 during combat. Alright, so right here from this first part, he's just getting all stats up 10. <laughs> We've already seen that on Brave Alm and Brave Eliwood. So all stats up 10 just from your weapon. That's <laughs> that's some serious power creep right there. At the start of turn, inflicts attack and defense minus 7 on foes within 4 spaces for 1 turn. And inflicts status on those foes, preventing counterattacks through their next action. Wow. Dude, wow, that's incredible. That's the Staff of Rostin effect right there. That's just, that's crazy that he gets that. Okay, also at the start of combat, if foe's HP is above or equal to 75%, inflicts attack and defense minus five on the foe during combat. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he's cracked. Wow, that's, this is like the first insane refine we've gotten for a Grand Hero battle unit nonetheless. Wow, he, he's going to be a really good merge project now with a flash effect right out the gates. And then all stats up 10, attack and defense minus 5, and then a debuff of attack and defense minus 7. He's... that's a really good refine for him. Alright, next up we have Summer Tiki, who is going to be like the random <laughs> seasonal choice that we seem to be getting on every batch of refines now. So, Summer's Breath. Effective against dragon foes, grants defense up 3. If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is above or equal to 75% at the start of combat, grants all stats up 4 during combat, and special cooldown charge plus 1 per attack during combat. Also, adaptive damage, of course, against ranged opponents. I don't think this is too much different from before. I believe she got attack and defense up 5, I want to say, and then the breath effect. So this is definitely better. She's getting all stats up 4 and then I guess a better version of the breath effect because it's per attack during combat instead of per enemy attack or on the enemy phase. So you can use this on both phases, which is nice. Also, if unit is within 3 spaces of an ally, grants all stats up 4 to unit during combat and deals damage equal to X% percent of foe's res when special triggers where X is equal to unit's max special cooldown count value times 10 plus 20. All right, so this is similar to Surge Sparrow or... What was the other thing that the Brave Erica had? I think it was Moonlight Bangle or something like that, where you're doing a percentage of one of the foe's stats and then you add all these numbers to it. So you guys already know I'm not the best with math or numbers or anything like that but this seems pretty strong so grants all sets of force unit during combat and deals damage equals to X percent so this is true damage right here which is obviously very powerful seems like a solid refine especially if she's gonna be fighting foes with good res she's gonna be able to clap them pretty hard so seems okay to me and then with the ramp effect too she's gonna be able to build into her specials and be able to abuse this effect really easily too. So that's nice. And then finally, last but not least, we got the <laughs> Mommy of Baps right here. We got Thor herself. So the first part of her weapon effect was... I believe it was Wrathful Staff. It might have been Dazzling Staff, but I, I'm fairly sure it was Wrathful Staff. Unfortunately, we, we don't have the top portion there to double check, but it's okay. Either or, it doesn't matter. Just 
any staff unit with Wrathful Staff or Dazzling Staff on the refine. You just give them the opposite in the B skill anyway. Okay, so she still has Gravity. Oh yeah, th that's also another thing she did. She inflicted Gravity on foes that had 3 points less HP than her, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they made it a little bit better and they made it just <laughs> inflict Gravity on foes in, in the same column as her. That's how it was. Yeah, actually, th this is kind of a rough one to miss the top portion of because there's not really any telling if they buffed that or not. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to wait a little bit later. Maybe you guys in the comments section can fill me in on this, but like I said, it's pretty early, so this was the best image I could find of her refine. Okay, so her effect is, at the start of turn, inflicts guard on foes on the enemy team with the lowest speed and any foes within one space of those foes. Okay, that's very good. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is above or equal to 25%, grants attack and speed up 4 during combat. Alright, yeah, wow, this is... This is pretty good, man. Just inflicting guard on the foe with the lowest speed and any adjacent allies to them. Yeah, because guard is so good, especially... Like, in Aether Raids, you, you can really tell how good guard is when... People are using ruse skills to prevent, like, breath effects and ramping effects and all of that. Guard is just very powerful, denying the foes of their special attack and also makes it easier on your units as well. Yeah, so it seems like a solid refund. I, I really wish we could have gotten the top half of the portion of what she does. Maybe we can find it. Hold on, let's see here. All right, let's see if someone posted the full info for her. All right, of course, the homie Phoenix Master 1. We can always count on him, right? All right, shout-outs to the homie PM1. All right, so here we go. This is the top half of her refine. Calculates damage from staff like other weapons, so she did have Wrathful Staff. At the start of the turn, inflicts attack minus 7. And stall on Sword, Lance, Axe, Dragonstone, and Beast Foes with HP less than units HP in cardinal directions through the next actions. This is already way better than what it did before, where she only did this to ranged type units. So now she's able to inflict stall on the... Okay, well stall is not quite as good as gravity. Gravity limits them to one turn, while stall is preventing them from gaining any bonus movement. Or actually, no, <laughs> that's incorrect. If they have bonus movement active, like, for example, let's say Legendary Sigurd, he gets bonus movement from his special. Or let's say a unit has Odd or even Tempest and they gain bonus movement that way. Stall is going to turn that into a penalty and it's going <laughs> to limit them to one movement per turn, basically. So I guess it kind of is like Gravity, but it's a little bit more restrictive there. Still very nice that she can do this to physical type opponents, though. And then at the start of the turn, inflicts Res minus 7 and Gravity on bow, dagger, magic, and staff foes with less HP than her through the next actions. So, very powerful stuff. I mean, she already did this before, but... Like I said, I think she had to have three more HP than the foes, whereas now she doesn't have to have that. It's just any amount of HP more is gonna work. So, wow, we got some really badass refines this batch around. I think my favorite of the bunch might actually be Wall Wallheart here. Or that depends. I, I think Nyla got a really good one, too, for... Not only is it good, but it also sets a good precedent for the future beast units that we're going to be getting in the future. So, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of these refines, and who do you think won the refine lottery this time around? Like I said, I honestly, I gotta give it to Wallheart here. Maybe, like, in second place, I think Nyla and... Loki might be tied, but I, I would give the slight edge to Nyla over Loki here. And then Libra is really nice for an easy merge project there. It seems pretty solid for a unit that a lot of people can easily just plus 10. And then Summer Tiki... Alright, <laughs> she, she got a good refine for sure, but her availability isn't very good. And I don't think too many people really summon to get her, so... While it is a very good refine, it's probably not going to see as much play as some of these other more commonly seen units. 
So that's going to wrap us up for this batch of refines. Oh, also, th there was one more thing I wanted to talk about as well. <laughs> so over here, apparently you cannot have more than one save skill on your team in Summoner Duels. We're getting a whole bunch of info coming in for this update here, but obviously there's just so much going on right now. It's impossible for me to cover everything right now. Let's just quickly go through here and see if... <laughs> Hopefully there will be a banned and forbidden list for this mode. Yeah, I mean, going with the Yu-Gi-Oh! template for the ban list. I, it would be interesting to see if they actually did a ban list, but I doubt it because they want people to spend money. So if they release something broken, they want you to be able to use it and summon for it. So I, I don't think they'll do a ban list. Right, I'm just quickly trying to see if there's any more info we have to talk about before we move in. All right, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for now. So, of course, as more info comes in on the new Summoner Duels mode, I will be able to give you guys that information and... Also, any more coverage that comes out in <laughs> basically right now. I'm pretty sure the trailer is out right now. So I'm going to wrap up this video and I'll see you guys again in a couple minutes where we talk about the trailer for the new Awakening characters. See you then.